Hello friends, welcome to Oracle Expert channel. So today we will discuss and I will show you how to create the response today through the data loader. Okay, so in my part one, I show you the how to create the responsibility, but without the data loader. Okay, so today we will create the responsibility through the data loader and and we will assign to user. Okay, through the data loader, because okay, actually what happened? Okay, when you do the an implementation, so you have so many responsibility. Like okay, for one entity, suppose you have 50 uh, responsibility. Okay, so if you create it manually one by one, so it's it will take some time. Okay, but if you do through the data loader, it will be very fast and easy process for you. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so first we will move to the sysadmin responsibility. Okay, in system administrator, go to the security responsibility and define. Okay, so for the data loader, we will open this screen. Okay, because it will automatically switch on the responsibility screen automatically. Okay, once the data loader is set. Okay, so before starting the data loader, okay, first we will prepare the Excel sheet. Okay, so I have already prepared the Excel sheet. Okay, so I don't need to recreate again. Okay, so how I prepare the data sheet? First is responsibility name means how we map with the data loader okay and uh, oracle means how the data loader will identify this field is will uh, be based on the specific field okay so see the first thing we have responsibility name okay so we will start from the responsibility name okay then if you have to go to the next field you have to use the tab okay so once you use, use the tab same tab you have to uh, put on the data loader okay so data and the data loader will understand okay means now you have to jump on the next step right so tab then it's come to the application okay so we enter the application then tab okay responsibility key then tab description if you want to enter the description, then okay, you can add one more column. Okay, okay, after after this tab, okay, okay after the F column, okay, you can add one more column. Okay, so then it will move to the effective date. Okay, so we have only effective date. So then next, no need to enter the effective date two and tab. So two. Okay, we did a uh, three times tab for the menu. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, not for the menu. Okay, it's for the data uh, data group. Okay. So after data group, it will move to the application. Okay. Then tab, menu, tab, 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 like, okay, request group. Okay. So, so now, okay, we see the, how it's work. Okay. So we will see like, okay, practically. Okay, so I will open the data loader. Okay, you have to download the data loader first if you don't have the data loader. Okay, so once you download the data loader, you have to open the data loader. Okay, this is a data loader icon. Okay, so now the data loader is launched. Okay, so now I will copy paste all these cells. The SP, okay, this SP I'm using to save okay once the responsibility is uh, uh, created by the data loader it's automatically save okay so this command is used for the like uh, uh, saving the records okay. okay i have moved the all columns okay now i will select the window window which is which you have to select uh, the oracle Oracle application screen. Okay, so if you see Oracle application EVS TV, so this is Oracle application EVS TV. So now it's linked with the with the Oracle screen. Okay, so once you start, okay, it will automatically move on this screen. Okay, so the command group we are on R12. Okay, okay, 
now i will click on the uh, setting in the setting i will go a uh, macro load wait while mouse cursor is hug what is the use of this wait while merger uh, mouse cursor is uh, her glass okay so if you check this checkbox and you have uh, like uh, more than 50 70 and 100 lines okay and uh, some like sometime your internet is slow okay so it will not like skip the columns okay so it will be placed on the same column okay until the data is paged okay then it will wait for the uh, like proper connection or this thing then it will move to the next next column okay so that's why i'm i'm doing means i'm checking this checkbox okay so okay start all cells i want to upload only specific cells like i will give one two five because i have five rows so after five it will be automatically disconnected means it it will close okay so now i will click okay Because actually before you starting, okay, if anything is going wrong, you can use the S key, okay, escape key, okay. So first, you have to click on the first column, means first field, and here also you have to click on the responsibility name, okay, before starting. Otherwise, it will move on the other field where you have click. Okay, so again we'll start. So now you can see the all field is uh, uh, placed on the respective field. Okay, this last record is not safe for the system because check. Okay, if not fixed, so we will try again through the uh, data loader. Okay, see, only fifth one. Okay, so we actually sometime the data loader is like uh, place the field on the different field, so you have to be like check when you start the data loader. Okay, okay, so you can see how fast five response field is created okay i think it took uh, only 30 second okay now i will check the responsibility which is created by the data loader okay first let me close the screen fine To left one, see. Okay, the responsibility is created. Okay, so now the second is I will assign the responsibility to user. Okay, through the data loader because when you create the user, for one user you have to assign 30 and 40 responsibilities. Then if you assign manually, it's like big task and the boring task, right? So so I will make you easy for you. Okay. Let me create first user. Um, so give any name. Suppose Oracle. It's already. Mm. Okay. OT1.
okay save now the user is created i will assign these five responsibility to two responsibilities so yeah, i will assign these five responsibility to user okay not the responsibility because the responsibility is already created right okay can open the new data loader this is going to save okay We will do copy paste for five responsibilities, okay, and tab, okay. Now, how I will know how many times tab I have to do or define, okay, one, two, three, four and five so it means five times i need to enter tab in five column one two three four and five okay let's remove this one okay again same thing i will do select the oracle application evs db and command group evs hardware okay and uh, fit okay. make sure your cursor is on the first step and here also on the first step where you want to start the uh, data loader first okay so one to five let's start how fast it's working okay if you do manual things suppose uh, it's a work responsibility so how much time it will take see only seven second seven second five record is created now i will save it this way. okay so now in part two you see how to create the responsibility through the data loader and how to assign the responsibility to the user okay so i hope you learn something new and uh, and keep watching my videos and i will upload every week the latest video and the coming videos will come with the setups and uh, and with the new scenarios, new business scenarios, all these things, okay? And if you like my channel, please subscribe and uh, click on the like and also click on the bell button because if any new video will come, then you can, okay, you will receive the notification bell, okay? Okay, thank you so much, thank you.